Good day, my dear students in grade 12. This is Palta National High School on which ready to extend assistance to cope with distance learning developing holistic learners. Your video lesson that gives fun and meaningful learning opportunities to guide you in acquiring the needed competency in understanding culture, society, and politics. I am your teacher, Alfred from Palta National High School, which will be teaching you new lessons. Before we start, please make sure you have with you your learning activity sheet in UCSP, worksheet number 4, from page 32 to 39. I guess you are now ready? Join me as we explore more about the different components of the society. For today, I want you to look at this picture. What can you say about it? That's right. You can say that there is no equality among the two people. Why do you think they are not equal? Precisely because one person lacks the provision of money or resources and the other one has many of it. If you are given a chance, what do you think should a person like you or, or the government can do about it? In this lesson, we will discover about social inequality and how the government address it. Our learning objective for today, explain government-initiated programs in addressing social inequalities. What is social inequality? It is a state characterized by existence of unequal opportunities and regards for different social positions within a group or society. A condition where there are an even distribution of food, wealth, and resources. Results of social inequality are as follows. Number one, organize hierarchies. Number two, discrimination. Number three, exclusion. Number four, inequality traps. How can the government address it? A. Implement programs. B. Seek linkages among non-government agencies. What are the programs of the government? Executive Order No. 5, Series of 2016, EO5, adopted the National Long-Term Vision or Ambition not in 2040. Planning, designing, and implementing of government interventions for a matatag, maginawa, at panatag na buhay. Government programs number one on peace and order. Mama mayang ayo sa anomalya, mama mayang ayo sa illegal na droga, masa masin. This project of the Department of the Interior and Local Government aims to heighten the community involvement by mobilizing the support of local stakeholders, volunteers, civic organizations, faith based organizations in the private sectors in the fight against illegal drugs, corruptions, criminality, and violent extremism. Thus, helping in the realization of the mandate to promote peace and order, ensure public safety, and in upholding good governance. This next one, I know you are very familiar with it. Without this, we cannot enjoy a smooth travel, safety, and of course, convenience. Second one is the infrastructure development, the build, build, build program. In the report of Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, it found that traffic congestion in Manila, caused mainly by poor infrastructure, led to losses of about 2.4 billion in 2012 and that could triple by 2030. Hence, Philippines suffers from unemployment and poverty because of poor infrastructure. This project aims to improve and accelerate infrastructure, spending and develop industries that will yield robust growth, create jobs, and improve the lives of Filipinos. Is replace one of the beneficiaries of this? 
Well, then I know you have a lot to say. Moving on. Social Protection Rights Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program for Peace This program is a human development measure of the national government that provides conditional cash grants to the poorest of the poor to improve the health, nutrition, and the education of children. Its aim is to alleviate poverty through social assistance and social development. You know this and you can relate on this because you might be a beneficiary of it. So how was it being a poorest beneficiary? Next is Modified Conditional Cash Transfer MCCT Program. To complement purpose, this program was designed to reach out to families who are definitely poor and more vulnerable, less advantaged. It aims to provide social protection services, fit the needs of IPs, homeless street families, HSF, and families in need of special protection, FNSP. And lastly, the reason why you don't need to worry, going into the tertiary, and take your most loved course. The Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Act. This is a law in the Philippines that institutionalizes free tuition and exemption from other fees in state universities and colleges, local universities and colleges. This law is a significant step towards improving the lives of unprivileged and marginalized Filipinos. Rehabilitation and Development Plan Bangun Marawi Comprehensive Rehabilitation and Recovery Program VMCRRP It shall bear the Build Back Better principle in its rehabilitation and recovery efforts, stirring a culture of peace in Marawi communities and the rest of Mindanao. These include programs and projects in land resource management social services, physical infrastructure, livelihood, and business development implemented by the national government or is in support of local government implemented projects. On science and technology and the creative arts, stepping up the value of chain program this program is led by the Department of Science and Technology. It aims to develop and promote the higher value and more complex ITBPM services such as information technology, healthcare information management, software engineering and development, animation and games development through capacity building and trainings, international trade missions and exhibits. This will redound to more jobs generated within ICT-related industries and non-ICT-related industries. On Science, Technology, and the Creative Arts Next Wave Cities Program The program focuses on the creation and development of ICT hubs, which will serve as business and innovation centers and investment destination outside Metro Manila, thus creating economic opportunities in these areas. As a collaborative project with the Information Technology and Business Process Association of the Philippines, IBPAP, the program aims to promote inclusive growth and development around the country. Macroeconomics Policies Livelihood Setting Program, LSP this program of the Department of Trade and Industry aims for the recovery and rehabilitation made of micro and small entrepreneurs considered as the most vulnerable economic group 
during disasters and calamities, and can even address poverty incidents by providing livelihood activities to relocate families. The objective is to provide starter kit packages to micro and small entrepreneurs severely affected by disasters to enable them to restart their businesses. Macroeconomics Policies Rural Agro-Industrial Partnership for Inclusive Development and Growth Rapid Growth The Rapid Growth Project is an enterprise development initiative that intends to propel micro and small businesses in high growth sectors to become innovative, productive, and competitive to meet the challenges of the global market. The project will provide a package of sector-focused, firm-level, value chain-based, and climate-smart assistance, and financing program to agriculture-based processing enterprises and entrepreneurial communities, supported by enabling sectoral and trade policies designed to provide enhanced access to institutional, regional, and world markets. Now, which do you think from the programs of the government will solve the problems you have seen in the picture I have presented a while ago? I guess these are just few of the government-initiated programs which may be of help to minimize social inequality among people. Now, let us have a short practice to see how will you learn from our lesson for today. I have here picture. Write down what kind of social inequality is present and be able to pick from the different government-initiated programs which can help to address it. Okay, let's start. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Now let us check your answers. Social inequality present and government initiated program that will do. Scarcity of food and poor economic status, poor peace. Poor network signal to continue education. Next wave cities program. Illegal drugs and crimes that can be a threat of people. Masa masid. Damaged seawalls and roads for safety and fast travel. The Build 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 program. And last, access to education. For peace, universal access to quality and tertiary education. Very good! Thank you for participating. Whatever your score is, I hope you should strive, improve, or keep aiming on high. Because... All what you are doing means you are learning. Now, for your evaluation, which serve as your performance task, I want you to do the learning activity for social autobiography. Directions. Think deeply about your own story of social class and inequality. In this task, you will have the opportunity to tell your own story in 200 words. In your own social autobiography, Make sure to link your experiences to an equal opportunity, class privilege or deprivation. Finally, reflect in your story the impact of government programs and initiatives to address inequality in your life. Do this in a white pad. The rubric is attached in your last on page 37. I hope to read your work, so please do not forget to submit it. On the next week, June 14 to 18, 2021, either through Messenger or when you submit your modules. Good luck! I hope you have learned something which you can use to answer any test, but rather to help you visualize the reality of life, that inequality exists and therefore we should appreciate the help of the government. It is because without it, we can never tell 
where are we till today? Goodbye everyone, and may this video lesson enlighten you more of living, not just a student, but also a citizen in our country.